everyone so for today's video we will discuss direct variation so we have three statements to consider when it comes to direct variation okay number one y varies directly as x number two y is directly proportional to x and number three is y is proportional to x okay so tandaan yan na tatlong statement na yan Kasi, pag nakita nyo yan sa ating word problem, matatanda ninyo na yung problem na yon is a direct variation. Tandaan, varies directly, directly proportional, and y is proportional. Okay, so kapag nakita nyo yan sa ating word problem, it will be translated as y is equal to k times x or y is equal to kx where k is the constant of variation tandaan k is constant so let's have the examples okay so we have example number one so example number one if y bar is directly as x and y is equal to 24 when when x is equal to 6 find the constant so we will find the constant which is the k so find the constant and the equation of the variation so equation of the variation so we have to find the constant and then the equation of variation Okay, so we have to find that too. So, always remember that the formula in finding the direct variation is y is equal to k times x. Okay, so let us find first the constant. So, y, so we have y is equal to 24. So, we just have to substitute 24 to y and then k we will just copy the constant k because that is our okay that is the constant that we are going to find and then for x so 6 so we will just substitute 6 for x okay next so 24 is equal to k times 6 is 6k and to find the value of k we will just divide both sides by Six. Okay, so we have the value of k is now 24 divided by the 6. The answer is 4. So we have the constant 4. So 4 is the value of constant. And for the equation of variation, okay, so we will find the equation of variation. Okay, so always remember that the formula in getting the direct variation is y is equal to k times x since we have the value of k, which is 4. We will just substitute 4 to k. So, here is now the equation of the variation. So, ganyan pa lang kadali kung paano mag-solve ng direct variation. Okay, so let us move on to example number two so example number two is if y varies directly as x and y is equal to two when x is equal to one find the constant of variation and y when x is three okay so first let us uh, identify what we are going to find in the uh, given problem okay so the first one that we are going to find is the constant of variation okay so constant of variation when we say constant it is the letter k okay so k stands for the constant okay next one so we have the constant k and y when x is 3 so we were going to find the y okay so we will going to find the y so bago tayo or bago natin hanapin ang value ng y kailangan muna natin hanapin ang equation okay so we will find the equation okay so let us first find the constant tandaan if y varies directly as 
x varies directly. So, magiging y is equal to k times x. So, remember that y is equal to k times x is the formula in the direct variation. Okay, now let us substitute. So, if y varies directly as x and y is equal to 2, so we will just substitute 2 sa y next. So, since wala namang value ang k, kasi nga si k ang hahanapin natin, just copy then when x is 1. Okay, so let us copy 1. So, ulitin ko, y is 2 when x is 1. 1. So, substitute 2 sa y and 1 sa x. Okay, next, copy 2 and then k times 1 is 1k or just k. So, now, we will have or we have the value of k which is 2. Next, since nanganap na natin ang value ni k, pupunta na tayo ngayon sa ating equation of the variation. Okay, tandaan, y is equal to k times x. Okay, since meron na tayong value ng k, which is 2, just copy. Okay, so ang ating equation of variation ngayon is y is equal to 2x. Okay, so dalawa na yung nahanap natin. Value ni k or value ni constant and then ang equation ng variation. Isa na lang ang hanapin natin. Hanapin natin si y when x is 3. So, we have now the equation y is equal to 2x. So, ito na yung equation natin para mahanap ang value ni y. Okay, next. y is equal to 2 and then substitute the value of x. So, ang x natin dito is 3. So, we will just substitute the value of x and then y is equal to 2 times 3 the value is 6. So, ngayon, meron na tayong value ni y. So, tapos na natin isolve itong uh, example number 2. So, nahanap natin si constant and then si equation of variation and then nahanap natin si y. Okay, so again, ganyan lang kadali kung paano mag-solve ng direct variation. Okay, so let's have the last example which is example number 3. Okay, so example number 3, if y varies directly as x and y is equal to 3 when x is equal to 10, find the constant and y when x is equal to 1 half. Okay, so again, y varies directly as x. So y varies directly as x. So, y is equal to k times x. Okay, next, hanapin na natin kung ano ang dapat hanapin dito sa uh, word problem na ito. Okay, so, ang muna natin hahanapin is find the constant. Okay, tandaan, ang symbol for constant is letter k. Okay, next, hahanap Pagkatapos natin hanapin, hanapin ang constant na k, hahanapin naman natin ang value ng y kapag ang value daw ng x is 1 half. Okay, so, hahanapin natin ang value ng y kapag ang value ng x ay 1 half. Okay, so, bago natin mahanap yan, kailangan natin hanapin ang equation of the variation. Okay, so bali tatlo ang dapat nating hanapin. Okay, so una si constant, sunod si equation of variation and then nahanapin na natin si y kapag ang value ni x is 1 half. Okay, so first let us let have first find the value of the constant. Okay, again, let have first find the value of the constant k. Okay, so first Substitute the value of y. So, ang value ng y is 3. So, papalitan lang natin si y ng 3. So, nod. Since walang value ang k, just copy. And then next. Okay. So, papalitan naman natin si x ng 10. Okay. Next. 
3 is equal to k times 10, the value is 10k. And para mahanap natin ang value ni k, kailangan natin siya i-divide both sides sa 10. Okay, so now we have the value of k which is 3 over 10. Okay, so 3 over 10 is our constant or that is the value of the constant K. And the next one, since meron na tayong value ng K, which is 3 over 10, hahanapin na natin si equation. Okay, tandaan, our formula or our general formula in finding the direct variation is Y is equal to K times X. Next, since meron na tayong value ng K, just substitute. Okay, so Y is equal to, value ng K is 3 over 10, 3 over 10 x. Okay, so ito na ang ating equation of variation. Since meron na tayong k, meron na tayong equation of variation, pwede na natin mahanap ang value ni y. Okay, so galing sa equation of variation, which is y is equal to 3 over 10 x, is 3 over 10 x. Okay, so ayan na, y is equal to 3 over 10 x. And then, isa-substitute lang natin ang value na x na 1 half. So, magiging y is equal to 3 over 10. And then, ang value na x is 1 half. So, papalitan natin si x ng 1 half. So, magiging times 1 half. Next, y is equal to when it comes in um, multiplication of fraction, Ang rule natin dito is numerator to numerator and then denominator to denominator. So, we have 3 times 1, the answer is 3. And then 10 times 2, the answer is 20. So, we have the value of y which is 3 over 20. Again, ganyan lang kadali kung paano mag-solve ng direct variation. So, meron na tayong examples 1, 2, and 3. 3. So, I hope meron kayong natutunan dito sa ating discussion. Thank you so much. Bye-bye!